Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Had an interesting suggestion in the subscriber discord to maybe try and build some sort of Colossus Hammer plus uh, Sahili or Masterful Replication deck. So that's what I try to do here. Uh, try to stick to mono blue for now. We'll see how this plays out. So the idea is pretty straightforward. We're playing some cheap equipment, in this case Heart Piercer Bow, that we can also search up with our Renowned Weaponsmith. We can play Colossus Hammer as well. Equip the Heart Piercer Bow onto one of our creatures, and the equip cost being just one mana. And then we can either use Sahili or Masterful Replication to basically turn the Heart Piercer Bow that's already equipped onto one of our creatures into a Colossus Hammer, giving it plus 10 plus 10 essentially, and a kind of wombo combo to win the game. At least that's the idea in theory. It's uh, pretty janky, but we've got some neat tools in this deck. Of course, a Weaponsmith can find additional copies of Heart Piercer Bow. We've got the Quartermaster, can search up an equipment, so either the Hammer or the Bow. Then both Sahili and Replication, giving us a bit of redundancy. And then Slippery Scoundrel as kind of a hexproof unblockable creature to put those equipment onto as a safe target. And then some more card selection with uh, Drawn from Dreams, Opt to scry one draw card, and Artificer's Assistant, which also lets us scry one whenever we play one of our equipment or Sahili. And then Sahili also plays well with equipment, making those 1-1 one -one servos, as well as having the minus two for the combo. So it's pretty janky but I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it plays, maybe see if we want to add a second color. There's some other interesting cards we could consider. Uh, for example, if we add a bit of red, we could consider uh, Champion of the Flame or even Valduk. If we go into white, we could add some double strike creatures like Fencing Ace. There's a, a number of options we can have with this uh, sort of deck could play even more copies of Masterful Replication, because the drawback of Sahili is that it only copies one artifact, so it can give a creature plus 10 plus 10 essentially, which is not enough to win the game on the spot, so she has to survive an additional turn to do it twice, uh, whereas with Replication if we have two bows we can uh, lethal in one hit, and this has a bit of utility also making two golem tokens, but it is six mana which is a bit expensive. And then in our mana base, we also have four copies of Zalfurn Void alongside 20 basic lands. So yeah, let's take this deck for a spin. And sure. So this hand needs to find a Sahili, preferably. Blossoming Sand, so this could be the Scapeshift deck. So, we know for a fact that we want to find Sahili, so I think I'm okay running out the Scry land here. And then if I like the card on top, I can play Weaponsmith. If I don't like it, I can bottom and then play Assistant into Hammer, Scry one twice more. Don't need another Weaponsmith. If I played Weaponsmith, I could have started searching a bows sooner. But we're just digging for Sahili here, I think. And then I guess next round we'll Weaponsmith. Alright, so Gross Spiral incoming. I think I still want to get the Weaponsmith down so I can play Weaponsmith and Hammer to scry some more. And then try and find a Sahili. Don't need more bows for now. Scoundrel. That's an interesting card. So right now we have six, seven. I mean, Scoundrel gives us a way to get past all those annoying blockers that the opponent is going to be making soon. So maybe actually keep that. Because I don't really see 
us getting through if our opponent starts playing our Boreal Grazers and making a bunch of zombie tokens. Then we're probably gonna need the Scoundrel. And we're pretty close to the city's blessing. So I can uh, play bow using Weaponsmith, play Scoundrel. And there's Sahili, perfect. So Scoundrel's unblockable, so next turn I can uh, move the bow onto the Scoundrel, turn it into a hammer with Sahili, so that's 12 unblockable damage. So if they don't play some Reach creature here, they would die to the Assistance plus Scoundrel. They gained one life, so now we can put them to one. I guess that's still good enough. Oh, never mind, opponent's got a Blast Zone as well. So they can uh, kill the Assistance and the Hammer. Hammer's also one mana. That's annoying. Blast Zone kind of messes us up here. So if I go for Sahili, they just Blast Zone, blow up all the Hammers. And the Assistance. So yeah, if it weren't for the Blast Zone, we could have done some powerful things here. Maybe I shouldn't have played the second hammer because of Blast Zone specifically. And after I can search up another bow. But now our clock is quite a bit slower without the hammer. So we need to top deck a Quartermaster or a Hammer, so we've got like six cards we can draw here. Keep Sahili in hand, and uh, I guess just search up more bows. And there's Field of the Dead. At least we can shoot down uh, all these random 1-1s and 2-2s. Sure. Alright, so we're pretty dead now. Even if we top deck a hammer at this point, I don't think we have enough, because we would only be dealing 12 damage, and we probably die next turn. So yeah, the Blast Zone basically won the opponent that game, otherwise we would have had it. Yeah, the sand seems fine. So we need to find both a hammer and either Sahili or Replication. But we've got quite a few ways to find it. One thing I liked about the Scoundrel in this list is that if we're making a bunch of 1-1 servo tokens with uh, Sahili, it helps with getting to the City's Blessing faster. So probably just playing the Weaponsmith, plus a Void, looking for Sahili and the Hammer, or a way to find Hammer. Don't need more Voids. Another Scoundrel. Ooh, Portal of Sanctuary. Opponent's got some Spice as well. And there's Sahili, so now we just need a hammer. Alright. I guess they're allowed to play good cards too. Take three. Uh, 
All right, so how many permanents? Six, seven, eight. If I go Sahili plus Opts, then we should get there. But I don't want to run out Sahili unless I can minus, I think. How much damage can I deal to this Nissa? Not enough. Might just want to get the second Scoundrel out first. And then I can just activate Weaponsmith end of turn as well. Seems fine. Alright. The one drawback of like shuffling with a weaponsmith is that we kind of mess up the scries from the assistants. I mean, I could double block, I don't think I want to. Alright, so they're gonna gain a bunch of life. Another scoundrel, so many scoundrels. We're down to 11 in the meantime. Let's see, 4, 8, 9, so anything we play here enables the city's blessing. So got the city's blessing, probably just playing out a bow. And quartermaster can find hammer. Might be too slow, but I think I still keep. And then I'll equip one bow to a scoundrel. And then probably attacking Nissa. Could also keep some blockers back and set up a double block on a land. Maybe that's the play, just keep double scoundrel to double block a 3-3 three, three here. Nissa goes to 3, and then we can kill her next turn. Sure. Yeah, I could have played Sahili to make some 1-1s, one I just don't want to risk losing Sahili. In case they do have some ways to get past over blockers. If her opponent has a Chandra, we're in trouble, because then they can just wipe the board. So we're not beating that. We can kill the healer of the Glade next turn if we want to. For now I'll just take out the uh, actual forest. Alright, so Quartermaster can find Hammer. I can play Hammer thanks to Weaponsmith as well as Equip Bow. So we'll start there. And do I want land? Probably not. So I need both Scoundrels to attack Nissa, And I'll probably keep Assistant back as a chum blocker here. And then I can take out the healer. The land will not forsake you. So I don't quite have lethal here since Sahili only copies one. Artifacts, so I can only hit their opponent for like 12 plus 2, so 14 with the Scoundrels next turn. If we had a Masterful Replication. Alright, so we're just dead here. Fair enough. Well, we were able to assemble the combo. Just, um, yeah, I guess a little bit too slow to actually kill the opponent.
Alright, I'll try it. I've been pretty happy with the assistance, just from playing a couple games with it, as it's both a cheap permanent to enable a send for the Scoundrel, which is kind of the real card that we want to be equipping, as well as kind of the card selection helping us smooth out our draw a little bit. So what we need to find, Bow, Sahili, and maybe a Weaponsmith, or a Quartermaster. Probably shouldn't have played my land yet in case. I uh, found a scry land. I guess I'll keep opts. And there's Weaponsmith, fair enough. Can't play this turn, sadly. If I bottomed with opt and just drew a random card, then I could have drawn into the Weaponsmith and played it. But by keeping the opts, I get to basically dig one card deeper in case I didn't like the next card. I guess I want to opt first, in case I find a bow I want to play and equip. Sahili I need to keep. Play Weaponsmith, which lines up pretty well against the Tithe Taker. And getting in a bit of chip damage with the assistance is nice too, because if we have Sahili, we can only deal plus 10 damage with Hammer. So if we can get the opponent to like 12 life, then uh, Hammer's enough to win the game. And Scoundrel's excellent too. So we're kind of doing it here. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this will have the City's Blessing. And then we can still activate Weaponsmith to search up a bow. And then next turn I can play bow, equip bow, play Sahili Hammer. And that should be lethal. So hopefully that all works out. This does cost one more mana because of Tithe Taker, but that's still enough to use the Weaponsmith here. Alright, opponent just scoops it up. Fair enough. They didn't see the combo in action, but we were gonna have it next turn. Sure. So this hand just wants to draw a couple lands, so we can play Quartermaster to search up Hammer. And then we still need Sahili or Replication. Um, I guess we'll opt first. Weaponsmith? I don't think I need Weaponsmith, do I? I guess it's not bad. It lets me search up the bows, and then the Quartermaster can search up Hammer. Yeah, I guess we need Weaponsmith. And then I can scry towards... A Sahili, which is the last piece we need. I don't hate lands, since we do need land for for Quartermaster. We're also pretty likely to draw more lands along the way, whereas we really need to dig for Sahili. So maybe I should still bottom. There's definitely a lot of decisions too with all the scry and the different sequencing. Probably just playing Weaponsmith. It's kind of close. If I play Weaponsmith, then next turn I can activate Weaponsmith, play Scoundrel. If I play Scoundrel, I can next turn play Quartermaster. I think I like Weaponsmith more. Ooh, I could get a bow and shoot down this Risen Reef. That also sounds pretty exciting. It's like we're playing M20 Limited here. Uh, don't need more lands. Alright, so can mow down Risen Reefs for now. No, Omnath. 
slaps the bird out of the sky. So how many permanents do we have? Five, six, seven. I guess I wait a turn on the scoundrels and next turn I can maybe double up on scoundrels. And for now just search up hammer. And then activate weaponsmith. Take four. Sure. So if I play double scoundrel, we should be good. And then I can play a bow as well with the Weaponsmith. Alright. We've got our Hexproof creatures in play. So all we need now is Replication or Sahili. And then we should be able to get there. Hope to dodge Chandra. I guess this is the same opponent from earlier. Can I explain the combo? The combo is basically to equip a cheap equipment like Heartpiercer Bow onto a creature and then turn it into a Colossus Hammer with either Sahili or with a Masterful Replication. So we don't have to pay the 8 mana to equip and try and kill the opponent that way. It's pretty janky, but yeah, it's kind of fun. I could honestly just equip the hammer next turn if we draw land. So maybe that's the way we win without cheating on the mana cost. So that means I want to play hammer. And then I can still play quartermaster. Which could get another hammer. Probably better off getting a bow. And then just double equip. Probably two on the same one, in case we need to keep one back as a blocker, but for now I'm fine attacking. We're at 11. Can block with these quartermasters if we have to. Any land lets us equip hammer, so that's an additional 10 damage. So yeah, if we draw land, we should have it. I guess I'm okay chomping. Is there an advantage to waiting until next turn? Then it could activate twisters. To kill them, I would rather save my five damage now, I think. And yeah, there's a land. So good old fashioned pummeling. Oh no, our opponent gained one life, I missed it. They play the Highlands. Well, then I probably keep one scoundrel back. Probably should have equipped uh, the one with the bows as well. That's fine. Could have also kept one back with the hammer as a giant blocker, but I think this should be fine. What I've been liking about the deck so far is that we were able to almost use all our mana every turn, thanks to all the equip costs, the weaponsmith, and kind of like the opt as a cantrip as well. This hand seems okay. Assistant into double bow, with a ton of scry between assistant and void, to build up towards replication. So we'll need to find Hammer, maybe some additional creature in the meantime. And some lands. Allegiance and 
That's rude. Right, Scoundrel was a good pickup. So I think I'm okay playing Void since I know kind of what I'm looking for. I guess I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just playing Island for now. Because I kind of want lands for the replication, but at the same time I also don't want to flood out. I have replication, so I don't necessarily need Sahili, so I guess I just need Hammer or a Quartermaster to find Hammer. Oh, there's a Hammer. I guess we'll keep that. Don't love running out Scoundrel when we don't have Axe Proof on it, but given that we have a second one, it's probably fine. Take three. Our deck seems pretty good at uh, getting the city's blessing as well for Scoundrel with all these cheap equipment. Time your pluses, Wild Growth Walker. So some sort of Sultai mid-range deck. Maybe with Commander Dreadhorde. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So not quite the city's blessing yet, but we're getting close. So we'll uh, scry here. Assistance. Do I want assistant? I don't think I do. I think I'm digging for lands at this point to cast replication. Yeah, I could double equip Scoundrel and just kill the Ranger. That's reasonable. Yeah, that seems fine. So if I draw land next turn and they don't kill Scoundrel, I'll have the City's Blessing. And then I'm just one land away from Replication for the Wombo Combo. So it's looking good. No tail should be discarded. Sure. So we'll be able to kill the Jade Light here. And there's a land, perfect. Alright, just need one land here. Actually, do I attack my opponents? There are 22. I guess with a Wombo Combo we'll be able to deal more than 20 damage. So, let's say your opponent has another Jade Light Ranger. They gain 6, go up to 28. I can attack my opponent for... Uh, 4 plus 20, 24, if I draw land next turn. I guess it doesn't make a difference if I attack them for 2 or not. If they only gain 3 life, then attacking them could make a difference. All stories must end. No reason to move the equipment. Podon knows about the Masterful Replication in her hand, so that kind of spoils the surprise a little bit. Takes two. Attacks. Is this a Commander Dreadhorde? Looks like it. Well, hopefully we can still kill them. So they're gaining 12 plus 3, 15 life. As long as they're below 24, we're fine. 23, alright. Come on, land, one time. Quartermaster, it's no land. I mean, I guess I'll still play it. They just get another hammer, probably just another bow. And then... I guess I take out Branch Walker instead of Jade Light, since I would rather have them return a Branch Walker than Jade Light from the graveyard. And hopefully we don't die next turn. This 
outcome. All right. Well, hopefully they're out of explore creatures. They're not. Opponent back up to 27 now. So, yeah, we're in trouble now. Frasca can also destroy the Colossus Hammer to prevent the combo. Opponent up to 30 life. Yeah, we had a one-turn window to kill them, basically, if we drew a land. Could have smacked them for 24. But I think uh, that window has closed now. I do have an extra bow in hand, so I could potentially deal 30 or like 34 damage with the Scoundrel, but then I need to survive an additional turn. So let's say I chum the Wild Growth Walker, I take 5 down to 9. Then I could attack with this one, take one of them out, or I guess even both. Chump again, take 6, and maybe I survive. So yeah, I guess that's the plan here. Although, Vraska means that they can kind of prevent us from comboing here. So yeah, there's a land a turn late. So I can hit them for 24. That's not enough. So what I need to do is bow. Equip. And then I can attack, take both of these out. Chump, take 7. But we're probably dead to either Vraska or Commander Dreadhorde here. But technically, if our opponent didn't have anything in hand, this could potentially get there, since then I could... Uh, chum the Wild Growth Walker, take 7 down to 2, play land next turn and hit him for 32. Yeah, I guess I should have killed the Branch Walker instead of the Jade Light there, in case I get it back. Vraska kills our uh, hammer. Well, we got super close. I guess I'm technically not dead. I can use Replication just to make two tokens to block. That's also why I only have the two replications instead of the full four copies. Is so uh, we don't need to get to six mana every game. Gets trophy. So now we're dead. GG's. So yeah, we got uh, super close, just not quite. I have been pretty impressed by the Slippery Scoundrel though. Seems like a great addition. Alright, I guess we'll keep this hand, could be anything with double opt. So we'll need both hammer, way to find hammer, and then cheap equipment, way to find cheap equipment. Turn on firebrand again, not what we want to see. It's going to make it pretty difficult to get to the city's blessing for scoundrel. I guess I'll main phase an opt here. Do I want to land? Not right now. It's your opponent's holding a bunch of burn spells. So I'm not going to run out Scoundrel until I have enough permanence in play. Finding a Sahili here would actually be pretty nice, since that's a way for us to make a whole bunch of tokens 
And if they don't have a Chain Warlord, then we can get to the City's Blessing pretty quickly. Bottom all those lands. Main phase in case we find, like, a Weaponsmith. Quartermaster is actually nice. It's a 2 for 1. Gives us a permanent for the City's Blessing. And I guess I'll play Hammer. Reason to hold it is if we draw Assistant or Sahili. Reason to play it is Man Efficiency, which could matter. I do want to build up our permanent count for the City's Blessing as well. Yeah, opponent not doing much. So don't want to play Void into Quartermaster, or otherwise we mess up our Scry. So I'll just play Islands into Quartermaster and search a bow. Don't need more than one hammer in this matchup. Quartermaster is going to survive for now. So we're at six permanents for the City's Blessing. So next turn we could have the City's Blessing if I draw into a one mana permanence. Right, shock kills Quartermaster, otherwise the bow could kill the Paramancer. Yeah, let's uh, run out the assistance. Opponent appears to be holding another burn spell here, so another hammer, probably not necessary. I like that it gives us a permanent for Scoundrel, but at this point I think I'm digging for Sahili or Replication pretty badly. Alright, there's Sahili, so we'll keep that. And might as well equip the bow, even though the assistant's unlikely to survive. And say go. Getting pretty close to just equipping the hammer as well for 8 mana. Firebrand kills Assistant once again. So if I play Sahili into Scoundrel, the Scoundrel should have Hexproof. Let's double check. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, Sahili is exposed to potential removal, since we can't really afford to block the Paramancer. But, uh, yeah, we've got a Scoundrel in play, plus Bow to take out Paramancer, so even if Sahili dies, we could be okay. Opponent's down to two cards in hand. But yeah, we have the combo in play, essentially. Hexproof Creature, Hammer, cheap equipment in Bow, Sahili to copy. So, despite our opponent having a million removal spells, uh, we were able to assemble what we needed. So yeah, I don't think we can block. We are at six, so we could die to two burn spells. And looks like we're dead. All right, well, so it goes. Just a turn too slow, I guess. All right, so let's take a look here. So yeah, the sand seems fine. We've got Weaponsmith to find Bow, Quartermaster to find Hammer, and then Replication for the Wombo combo. It's gonna be a bit slow, so if we're up against any fast deck then we're probably dead, but... Still, we're eventually gonna assemble the combo. And then we've got some Scry from the Void and from Assistant to make sure we keep hitting our land drops. Trying to think here whether we need to play the Void. We already have five lands, so we don't need to prioritize the Scry right away. It's probably still fine, because the next couple turns we're going to be shuffling with the Quartermaster. We'll probably draw into a land at some point. Yeah, 
And the Weaponsmith also shuffles, so the Scry from Void will go wasted. Ooh, Starfield Mystic. Opponent did not open up with a bunch of Ley Lines, so who knows what they're playing. I'm just gonna main phase Weaponsmith, get a bow, play the bow. Still bottoming, I think. Yeah, we've got the six lands now. So the next couple turns will be spent searching up Heart Piercer Bows, searching up Colossus Hammer until we're ready for the replication. One drawback is that Hammer loses flying on the assistant, so we need to attack first. But with the replication, given that it's an instant, it still works out since we can attack, it goes unblocked, and then we replication, turn all the bows into hammers, and get in there for a ton of damage. So, I think I'm still using the weaponsmith here. And then next turn I can quartermaster search up hammer. Since we want double bow on the assistant for 20 damage. So I'm curious to see what our opponent's bringing to the table here. Usually see Starfield Mystic paired with a bunch of Leyline and said uh, it's going to be Phyrexian Scriptures. It's actually decent here. So I can search a bow, play bow, equip bow, equip bow. So yeah, that should work. Yeah, it's probably a fine draw. So we'll have to wait on the combo at least another turn or two here. But we're looking good. We've got a backup assistant, another quartermaster, plenty of creatures to equip. Don't really care that the graveyard gets exiled. I'm forced to play the quartermaster now if I want a replication next turn. I'll have one mana left over, so I can equip one more bow. So if I play quartermaster now, I can play assistant equip or play assistant play hammer and then have one mana left over. So I guess I'll be one mana short of actually having two hammers. So maybe the place to equip both bows to the Carter Master. The way this works with bow is actually interesting. Because I can get the triggers from the bow and then with the replication, since this is an instant, I can turn the bows into hammers after the bow's trigger. So I can potentially like kill the Seder Enchanter with the bows and then turn them into hammers. So this could be pretty sweet. So yeah, let's say your opponent only has a Seder Enchanter as a blocker. I can next turn play hammer, attack, double bow ping, kill Enchanter, and then replication, turn bows into hammers, hit them for 22. Alright, there goes that plan. At least I'm happy they didn't uh, Exxon's Binding the Hammer. That would have been sad. So let's Drawn from Dreams. And find... Probably... Replication and... Either Weaponsmith or Sahili. I guess Sahili's nice. And then for now just play... The little assistants. And then we'll try and set up our play next turn. 
And again, given that replication is an instant, I can attack and then before damage, but after blockers, turn the bows into hammers. Oath kills assistance, so... We gotta stick a creature here. I guess I can just replication make two golems end of turn. I could also just turn my bows into three threes at some points. So I've got some options. I usually don't get to this point in the game since we're along dead by now. But uh, we're getting to the, the interesting late game that our deck has. Going for the end of turn replication so they can't kill our creatures at sorcery speed. And then next turn going hammer second replication. Although I guess that turns our golems into hammers. So our creatures would become equipment so they would no longer deal damage. Yeah, I guess that doesn't quite work. All right, let's let's play Sahili and then use opts to dig for a creature. That works. All right, now we should have it. This is kind of the perfect answer. All right, and we'll say go. All right, so now we're looking good. It's going to be a bit more difficult for them to kill the Scoundrel, which is why we put it in the deck. So how much can we attack for next turn? I have 8 mana, so I can still double equip bow and attack for 32 unblocked hexproof. Sounds good. I guess never mind. I still need to play the hammer, so it's only going to be 22 unless I draw land. Then it's going to be 32. That's okay. So they're still at 19, so 22 damage should suffice. My opponent with a cool enchanter deck here. Alright, it's time for the combo. Let's go full control here for a second. This is the advanced combo where we ping with bow and then turn artifacts into hammers. And now choose target artifacts. Hammer. Or servo is gonna turn into an attacking hammer here. Sadly removed from combat. Alright, that was fun. Playing against a deck that doesn't kill us on turn 5 is a nice change of pace. Alright, so... Hammer time in conclusion. Could make a case for playing additional copies of Masterful Replication. Could try and fit in some interaction, not sure what that interaction would look like. Could be, again, some counter spells, some bound spells. Could add some more cheap card draw, like chart of course, but... Doesn't seem amazing here since we're not really enabling it outside of Assistant, which usually dies right away. But yeah, the Quartermaster has been pretty good. Scoundrel has been impressive. The Weaponsmith, also pretty important piece of the puzzle. I think that's going to do it for Hammer Time for now. So yeah, I want to thank everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.